Hey everybody, I am at my dad's house, uh, chilling today. We took him to the doctor a little earlier, and uh, all will be well. But I didn't want to leave you today without some jokes. Amen. So if you haven't gotten a chance to like and share, uh, share with somebody, because you always know every time we tell jokes, uh, it's going to bring a smile to somebody's face today. For, first of all, put in the chat, how are you all doing? How's everybody doing? Is Huh? Everybody okay? Woo! This your first time catching it live, Elder Renee? Well, I hope I don't disappoint you so bad. We had to uh we had a long day, but that's all right. Let's get it. Y'all ready to get it? <laughs> well, listen, this one is for you, Sister Irvia P. Davis. I dedicate this joke for you, Irvia. You ready? Irvia and everybody else, let me tell you. If you're looking for somebody to build you an ark, I know a guy. <laughs> Ain't that dumb? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, I've told this one before. A child went and asked his daddy. He said, Daddy, how did... Hold on, let me backtrack. A child went and asked his daddy. He said, Daddy, how did we get here? Well, Daddy said, God made Adam. Then he made Eve. Adam and Eve got together. They had babies. Those babies turned to adults. And so and so on and so on. The child said, Thank you, Daddy. So he went to his mother and said, Mommy... How did we get here? Mama says, well, we evolved from monkeys and from monkeys came humans. The child goes back to his daddy and says, daddy, you lied to me. Mommy said human beings came from monkeys. He says she was just talking about her side of the family. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> <laughs> I know this dog ain't gonna come bark at me. You don't like my jokes, dog? They're going back. That dog don't like my jokes. Dog came rushing at me just now. He don't like my dog, like my jokes. Listen, I told my girlfriend she drew her eyebrows too high. She looked surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> listen, I heard President Lincoln was approached by a woman after one of his political speeches. She walked up to him and said, if you were my husband, I'd poison you with poison tea. He said, if you were my wife, I'd gladly drink it. <laughs> That's wrong. That's mean, ain't it? <laughs> hey, listen, listen. At the end of a job interview, the human resources guy, he asked this young engineer, he said, what do you like your starting salary to be? Or what, would, or what are you requesting of us? And the guy said, I'd like one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars a year, depending on the benefits package that you're offering. The interviewer says, wow. He says, well, hold on. Look at these dogs out here barking at me. Hold on, let me just even think you barking at me. That's about to be another joke. Hold on. Let me go back. Let's backtrack. This guy was asking this brand new engineer who interviewed for a job, how much do you want for your starting salary? The guy said $125,000 depend on what the benefits package is. The interviewer required, he inquires and says, well, what would you say to a package of five weeks vacation? 14 paid holidays, full medical and dental, company matching your retirement funds up to 50% of your salary, a company car lease for every two years. He says, and I'll even throw in a red Corvette. The engineer says, oh my God, are you kidding? The interviewer says, yeah, but you started it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> hey, listen, this is for my friend, Marsha Cecil. Marsha, this is for you, Marsha. God bless you. Marsha, what do you call a pig that does karate? Everybody knows this. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, ain't it? <laughs> chop. <laughs> I had to come over here and give y'all a few of them, y'all. I hope y'all had a great, great rest of your day. Hope you have a great weekend. Look out for my thoughts tomorrow. And, um, you know, as we conclude this weekend, <laughs> listen, which Bible character was super fit? Which Bible character was super fit? Anybody know? Absalom. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid here's an old one and i bid you farewell y'all a man walks into a pet store he carefully asks for a dozen bees the, the clerk carefully counts out 13 bees the man says i only asked you for a dozen she says but yeah but this one's a free bee <laughs> Y'all have a great rest of the day. Take care of yourselves, everybody. God bless you. <laughs>